We begin with an unprecedented move on the peninsula. California has revoked Portola Valley's affordable housing certification. Yeah, this means the San Mateo County town is no longer in compliance with the state's affordable housing regulations. NBC Bay Area's Emma Goss explains what comes next. Portola Valley's Planning Commission meets tonight to continue developing its zoning plan, a key step toward getting its housing element back. In the recent past, housing advocates applauded Portola Valley for a creative plan to build 152 affordable housing units. It was the town's response to a state law requiring proof of plans to build a certain amount of affordable housing. And it's a plan the state approved back in January. Then the complicated zoning process began. Portola Valley got decertified for, for one of the most clear-cut, unambiguous areas of state law, the rezoning deadlines. The state's decision to decertify the plan this week means Portola is no longer in compliance with state law. The town's mayor, Sarah Wernikoff, insists there is no stall and delay tactic. In a statement sent to NBC Bay Area, she said that Portola Valley currently does not have these zoning districts, so developing them in a town of our size and resources takes time. She added that the state's one-size-fits-all approach, interwoven with rapidly changing housing laws, has overwhelmed our small town and made compliance a Herculean task. I look forward to recertification in May so we can finally move on to the work of the intent of the regulations, actually getting housing built. They need to. You know, they lose certain state money if they don't aren't in compliance with their housing element. And for a small town like Portola Valley, with 4,400 4, residents, losing a revenue source is tough. Tim Clark heads the Affordable Housing Task Force at his Portola Valley Church, which sits next to land where affordable housing units may be built. The housing topic has stirred debate across the community. There are people who don't want the community to change, uh, and they're uh, willing to throw up a series of objections to it. And the council needs to not listen to that segment of the community. The town council has a timeline to get the plan adopted by next month. In Portola Valley, Emma Goss, NBC Bay Area News.